Alright, so you want to know how to change the mini PCI on your laptop. So, for every laptop manufacturer and model, it will be different to see or to find where the mini PCI or even any component like the hard drive of RAM, it will be very different where they are located. So look at your manual or do a Google search of your laptop to see where those parts are located, hard drive RAM or the mini PCI, whichever it may be. Once you do, unscrew the panel that's hiding it or covering it. And for the sake of this video, I already did it. So take off my panel. And as you can see right here, this little, little thing right here is the mini PCI card that's already in. This is the Wi-Fi card, but not all laptops will actually have a Wi-Fi card and some of the PCI, the mini PCI port. Some actually have it integrated into the motherboard, but some actually have it on the mini PCI. But if you still want to change it, I'll show you how right now, right, right when I zoom in. Alright, so as you can see, I zoomed in. I have a screw that's holding this down, which mine does, so I'm going to take it off. one screw only usually so once you do if yours is a Wi-Fi card it should actually have two cables one black one white or whatever the colors may be just take them off by push by pulling it up don't worry it doesn't do any damage but make sure make sure they are the same locations make sure the white doesn't go to this one and the black doesn't go to this one or else you actually might damage it so then it's easy as that. Right when you remove the screw and the little cables, if there are any on the mini PCI card, it lifts up like a RAM cartridge. So, once you do actually remove the screw or whatever it may be, hold, it may, it may be holds by, there we go, it's having a little trouble. It'll lift up, you just take it off like that. There you go, simple as that. So, if you only install one, it's very very simple. You actually don't need to make it out at all which one's the longest which one's the shortest because if you actually insert it the wrong way you'll know it won't even fit and you'll see the ports clear as day so you'll know if you're doing it the right way or not. So let me move these cables back a little bit. So all you do is like a RAM, like if you were doing a RAM cartridge. Make sure it's up, push it down and you can push it down like that and it won't stay down because it needs a screw unless yours has some kind of clip mechanism so it will clip it down but for me it's for, it's a screw screw it down and if it's a Wi-Fi card that you're replacing let's say the one you have is broken but you got another one online make sure you connect the cables back it's one sorry if I'm in your way guys yeah I pretty much am sorry about that there we go. You actually might hear a little click when you insert the cables. So that's a good sign. That means it's secured. And that's pretty much it. That's all you do to change a mini PCI card. So as you just saw, guys, very, very simple. Only needed to take out one screw. Well, that's for my laptop. But other manufacturers might be different. Like it might have a, cl a clip mechanism or actually might not even need anything at all that's holding it down. It actually might just pop up itself. Or there actually might be different ways you you're removing it. So. Thank you guys for watching. Click on the other annotations right here on the laptop to, to see how to change the hard drive, how to change the RAM. I'm not going to show you how to change the thermal paste or processor of the laptop because this is my friend's laptop. And so I don't want to mess with anything that I don't need to mess with. And so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.